Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode, we might have had one of our best episodes today. If you haven't seen it already, I highly recommend you go and check it out. It was just a super hard-fought victory. We fought the thing from the stars. We took in someone under-leveled. And there was it was just it was crazy. We got we got such a good run and had some really good luck and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. It was one of the best adventures we've been on thus far. I prepared myself a team here to go out and um, I have been advised by some people that I should be leveling up our snake charmer here for some story stuff that's coming up soon so I'm going to do that now. Uh, we're going with a bit of an odd team here. We're taking out Urku because he hasn't actually been out in a little while uh, and we're giving him his uh, repose trinket as well as a stampeding buckle so that we can uh, start off with a trample and hopefully get some good hits with that. Uh, then we have this nice little combination between Haverud, who's still level 3, uh, with his Kaboom and Light the Fuse, mixed with Verona's ability to give a plus 1 action. I think that's going to make some very, very nice uh, doubled up effects here. Uh, as well as, unfortunately we have the Spotted Fever here, so I'm counteracting that with the Fortified Garlic in case we need to use Carmen Toxins, as well as giving um, Mary here the um, Bibby's Head, uh, Big Bee's Head, sorry, for the 40 Bleed, Blight, Debuff, and Disease Resist with the plus 30 stress, and the plus 30 stress is actually pretty good because the more stress this gal has, the more she actually gets from her abilities, and so kind of what I'm thinking is we stress her the hell out uh, and then bring down the stress as quickly as possible with uh, with Carmen Toxins, and then we pump it back up, and we just keep going back and forward like that, and this should mean a pretty good little thing here, and of course, we just have the uh, charm here for the slight extra healing abilities. Um, unfortunately, we do have some um, rather bad negative trinkets with uh, negative uh, quirks for some of these, but it's not all terrible. Uh, Havrad's just going with straight-up accuracy, because this is going to lower his accuracy, so I've gone with the Focus Ring and the Eagle's Eye Talisman for accuracy, damage and crit got a lot and a lot of good stuff there i think only problem is he does get bonuses on the first round that he really isn't going to be using hot to trot's obviously incredible in fact pretty much all of these bottom ones here we want to lock in they're all really good even life i'm fine with the extra dodge over maximum hp but especially hot to trot and unearing them two are really good but i think this should be a pretty decent team the only thing i'm a little worried about is we do have a little bit less healing but before we jump into this something that we're going to go and do is we do have quite a lot of blueprints as you can see we have four currently and there is actually here the performance hall which works for jester and snake charmer it's going to give us minus 10 stress flat plus two speed flat um, finale damage for the Jester, plus 20%, and minus 15 Blight skill chance on our Calming Toxins. We have more than enough to make this work, so I'm going to go right for that and build that up now, because I think that's going to be very, very useful. Um... We've got some stuff... Th this, this here is something that I want to go for with, um with our Houndmaster, the racetrack. We're going to be getting plus 20 stress healing, plus 2 speed, heading tactics, get extra damage, um, and can't quite read into that. I think um, Scourging Curios heals 5 stress. We'll go for that later, but we can get to that. Either way, let's just check out, make sure everyone's got their skills ready, so let's scroll back up to the top. I realise we've got a lot of team members that we just haven't used in quite a long time, but I think still we're getting there with everyone, so okay, we do need to do some upgrades on Havarad here, so we'll go with that, 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 that. Make sure you're all upgraded there. You're upgraded, you're upgraded, and you're upgraded. Good. And then, I think everyone's good here, aren't they? Apart from Havrad. Okay, Havrad de definitely needs some upgrades, but everyone else is looking good. Uh, pretty good money-wise. I definitely want to uh, go on two adventures here, so we're just going to go for a short one. Into the Weald, I think. Um, the Weald here has a level 3 mission. Should be very, very easy. It's only a short one as well. Essentially, we're doing this just to level everyone up. Everyone here should get enough to get them to the next level. Um, exclude, sorry, everyone. Um, these two are the main ones I'm worrying about. The these two, I'm not too bothered. They can get as much XP as they like or as little as they like. But these two in the middle, I really want to level them up. So, let's jump on in. We do have some really good diary entries um, that are all surrounding with what went down with the previous episode, so I'm going to get into those in just a moment. Just going to grab three of everything here um, and take a few torches. Cool, cool. In fact, we don't need that much food. There you go. Uh, cool. Right, let's jump on in. Uh, a, f a first diary entry here. These are all coming from T here because he's uh, kind of the person that's written for all of these characters. The Urshanborn, Butcher, the Snake Charmer, they're all his characters, so works really well with these guys. So, Verona here, uh, the Snake Charmer, 
She said, I sat and spoke with the entity again, the one that could bring my family back to me. I needed more answers. Thankfully, it seemed sympathetic of my situation and gave me a warning. My tormentor was coming. A wolf that would bring fire and death to this place. It wanted me to stop, but I don't know what it means. Some kind of demon? A beast of the wield? Or something else? Very interesting. Uh, and we have uh, two more here, but I'm going to get into those a little later on if we do any camping or in-between missions. So we'll start here. Um, let's go. Like I said, this is only a short mission. We haven't been on many short ones in a while. So we won't have much to do here. This is just complete 100% of room battles. So we're just going to be making our way through. Uh, 70, 80, 60. Okay. Snake Charmer, you can get that. Nice. Thank you, Verona. But I think this should be a really good team. I think this should lead to, uh, to a pretty good battle here. The only thing I'm a little worried about is our healing from Mary isn't particularly strong. Um, she doesn't have a lot of healing in her, so we, we have to see how that goes. We might need to switch some abilities around and get some self-heals going on, if not, because I do realize that Urku does have a self-heal we can use. Um, right. We can go with this to start. Nice. Um, and that. No bleed, unfortunately. Trample coming in here. Should do good damage. Has a good chance to crit as well. Um, and then we'll set you up with that. Very nice. And this pretty much puts everyone into the position that we want them in. So I'm very happy with the positions of people here. Urku, of course, is going to be dealing the big damage here. Um, along with Havarad's cannon once it's lit. Uh, but... Urku should be leading the charge for the most part. Here's kind of where we'll see if the healing is adequate. Um, see, this is this is probably one of the biggest problems of this team. She can't self-heal, so we have to do this sacrifice, which obviously isn't ideal. I think we'll just go for the kill here. We, we did get it. Nice. We did indeed get it. Yeah, we just have to keep on top of it with our healing. No blight on either of us there. Very nice. There you go. Nice bit of combat there. We even got a summoning page. We definitely need to use a summoning page at some point. We still haven't done that yet. But yeah, healing here is going to be a little problematic. We do have this as a self-heal as well. It's only 5% maximum HP. It's not great. We'll work around that. Make sure to always reorganize our team. We don't want to be missing out on anything. A tiny bit of gold there. Okay. Got some birds, some shriekers, little shrieklings. Um, yeah, we'll go for a hit. Of course, we missed it on the first go. Yeah, um, because we just got that new, um, that, that new theater thing, her speed is pretty high here. I'm actually surprised. Three speed. You're, on your first turn, you're five. Um, and I'm surprised you're not going anywhere near first right now. We're gonna actually set up repost on you on the first turn, because it does that 25% extra damage. Dead meat's on us now. That's not too big of a problem. Oh, that is a big problem. That is not something I want to see. And that's even worse. Oh, God. Passing turn is not something we want to see at all. Um, That's okay. It's okay. Just, we got to be ready is all. Um, We don't need this yet. Do you know what? No, we'll, we'll do this now. We give ourselves the restoration and the healing. And we get the horror on us, which is actually fine. We give the whole team a block as well. Uh, sorry, a guard. Um, and we get a block ourselves. Wow. Do you, do you, do you want to wail on the person that can't be healed anymore? Oh my god. Please. <laughs> okay, I, I just realized a major mistake that I've made here. Guarding means that everyone hits her, and she has no healing, so... Sorry, Mary. I didn't mean for it to be this way. Yeah, don't do that again. Um... Hmm. Okay. We have some problems. <laughs> I... I have made some, some, some serious mistakes with this build. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that now. Uh, I definitely, definitely should have brought someone else that can heal Mary. I didn't realize she couldn't heal herself without putting herself in even more danger. Not really what we want. So this is going to be a pretty risky, uh, pretty risky dungeon here. Because uh, of a, a slight 
error there. I mean, that that bit of combat there was definitely most problematic because it, everyone missed, but that's only because the Shrieklings have such high dodge. I can't be too mad at that because I do realize they have high dodge. We're going to come across that every now and again. Let's just hope we can get a good amount of uh, loot out of this as we go forward. Uh, that's going to be a Quirk Giver or Quirk Removal. Uh, I think we'll give that to our Snake Charmer here. Cheerful. Um, other heroes find your presence comforting. I mean, that is that is something that uh, that you wouldn't expect from Verona. I think a lot of people previously didn't like her too much, but maybe her cheery disposition is going to change that. Maybe it's going to change that. Okay, we got battles in every single direction here, so let's just go for this one. Yeah, we're going to have to rely on food for healing for Mary for the most part. Luckily, we do have that bonus to food, and we should be getting some more here, which is certainly useful. Only four, but it's enough. We basically, we need enough for food checks and healing. That's the problem. But food checks do also heal, so... We do have a damage up here from this well. Okay, so hopefully we get to go first as um, Urku here. Hasn't happened yet, but... Not to say that it can't. Did take some bleed on there. That's not a problem. There we go. That's what we want to see. Full shuffle and huge damage. Ooh, that's going to be quite a lot of bleed, yeah. I had a feeling that was going to be quite a lot of bleed. Um, so we're going to give you double actions. Then you can do that. Hmm. I'm going to heal you up, make sure you're okay. There we go. Crit for 14. That's perfect. And there you go. You get to go kaboom straight away. Deal good damage. It wasn't a lot, but she does have some prop. The deer there. So that's not too big of a problem. I don't mind too much. Resisting that bleed. Nice. Got that bleed resist up. Again, we're going to resist. Most of the time, Verona is going to be resisting that. Take the tagging. Or not. Nice one, Urku. Um, right. Hmm. I think I'm just going to go for the kill here. Ah, oh, unfortunate the dogs do have high dodge. Wait. Oh, I was wondering why we only did 8 damage. There's a 96% chance of the 330% damage buff applying, and it didn't apply. That's why we ha we did such low damage then. I mean, we can get a kill here nonetheless, but I, I, I was wondering why we only did 8 damage. It turned out the 4% chance to miss that buff. We actually missed it. Um, let's heal you up again, because that bleed's going to keep wailing on you a bit. Maim you. Oh, the dodges are just atrocious right now. Havrad's kind of the only one that can reliably hit, because of his in uh, highly increased accuracy. Um, but everyone else is, is having a hard time over in the wield here. Not the best. Right, I am going to get rid of that. Hmm. <sighs> See what I mean? This 19 dodge. It's too much. It's too much, man. Nice. Okay, we can probably stall a little bit here. Uh, maybe not. You're, you're bleeding, so maybe not. Let's just go for the kill. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Cool. Uh, I will give you a little bit of food. Not too much. Just enough to keep you afloat. Uh, this is a stress heal. I didn't actually realize this was a stress heal. I don't want to stress heal you, so let's just stress heal you. 28, yeah, so that's, that's almost full amount taken off there. I actually don't want to stress heal Mary because at, um, how much stress is she on now? 55 stress. She is getting uh, plus 4 to uh, heal, uh, which is actually pretty significant. 11% uh, of maximum HP plus 4 um, flat heal is, is a pretty significant heal, even on targets with lower maximum HP. I think Urku has pretty good maximum HP, but everyone else is not great. Uh, Urku's 58, so Urku's getting a pretty big heal. Everyone else is kind of low uh, in the 30s, and then I think Havarad's, yeah, Urno's 34. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, but Urku's mainly going to be the one that benefits. Maximum HP heals are both a blessing and a curse, depending on your team. We've got some brigands here. We did get the surprise, though. That's really nice. So I think go for that first. No blight, unfortunately. This should hurt. With one of them being stealthed, what I should have done is use my D-Stealth. I definitely should have used my D-Stealth. So I definitely got the buff this time. Good, good. Um, let's just finish you. Nice munch and a crit as well. 
And that gives us 40% damage reflection as well, which is really nice. This is the first time Mary's been out in a long time. And she probably did want to come out with, um, with her... Sort of... I don't know what to call them. They're, they're, they're companions. Um, which is uh, our abomination. Right. We can get you easily. Yeah, I... Our abomination, Leo, is kind of her partner, so... Maybe she wants to come out with him, but she's she's managed to make, make her way out, nonetheless. Finish you off. Once her stress gets up to 75, then we'll start lowering it a bit. For now, we should be okay. 44 damage. Awesome. I want to stall this a little bit and get some healing done. We're a little low. Um, Urku's got a pretty big chunk missing. I'm gonna light the fuse again. 660% damage. Right, uh... You're on 23. You did take the blight as well. God damn it. Had a feeling. Uh, right. Heal you up. Nine healing, that's pretty good. Kinda need to stun him before he calls him reinforcements or something. Hmm. 12. Let's just do that on ourselves. Nice. Taking the shank here. I want to get one more heal on Urku, really. Didn't get the stun. God damn it. This should be a huge heal. Yeah, 13. And there you go. We're pretty much good to go here. I am going to relieve ourselves of some of that. I want to see how much damage this does. 41? Okay. I thought it was going to be more than 41. Imagine that on a crit. Honestly, Havarad building crit is a pretty good build. It's a pretty pretty good way to, to play him, to be honest. Uh, we're... Do you know what? We'll take those. We'll take those. We can make that work. Uh, right. Everyone's okay on, on, on healing and stuff. We've got two more battles to go. I think Urku's kind of carrying with his trample at the moment, so we'd have to worry. This enemy could be problematic. Um, especially depending on the attacks we take here. Rend isn't great, especially on our healer that can't heal herself. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. That's alright. I'm just going to do that and try and kill the dog as quickly as possible. Didn't take the blight, unfortunately. Um, yeah, let's get this going. Damn, I was really hoping that finish off the dog. It did not. Um, you need a healing. There's nine. Yeah, nine's pretty good there. We're also, up, we're almost up to another plus two on that, which is great. Howl here, giving us some horror. Great dodge. Great dodge, people. Um, I think it's better to just finish you. Stop, stop us getting rabies, essentially. Um, hmm. Let's just go for the kill there, yeah. We lost three stress, gained three stress. And this guy, we're just going to punch until until we can't no more. Oh, Havrad is so powerful when, when you actually properly set him up. And there you go. Right. We've got enough food here um, to actually just feed you up to full health. We've only got one more food check, possibly. Um, and even then, we might not get one. So I think it's absolutely fine for us to eat a bit more food and make sure we're healthy. Honestly, healing is a decent source. Uh, sorry, food is a decent source of healing. You can you can play in such a way that you... Oh, tapestry. Awesome. Uh, I don't know if we have that book of rage yet, so I don't really want to throw that away. Let's throw away the key. I know that there's possibilities that we might get something else, but I'd rather do that. Um... We might as well throw away that as well. We're not going to use a shovel here, are we? You watch. We'll need the key for this treasure. Yeah. <laughs> of course. I didn't even think about that. Right. We do have... Oh, we didn't rearrange. But we do have this, which immediately stops you from being stealthed. Uh, Does it not de-stealth? I thought it did. Oh, it just bypasses stealth. Okay. That's fine. Nice hit. And the bleed as well. We could stack that bleed here with Urku as well. Pair that up. Um, let's do that. We did get the buff this time. I, I need to check now, just to make sure. So that should be pretty high stacked bleed there, yeah. This will be our stress. 
Right, now, this battle, we're gonna focus on de-stressing Mary, just so that we, when we leave, we don't have much stress. We can probably stall a little here. We kind of want to kill the crone first, though. The crone isn't someone we want to keep around. Wow, we are taking on a lot of stress here. <laughs> Everyone just got really stressed really fast. Um... So we're going to move her back here, just to get her set up for Carmen Toxins. Take you out. Wrong target. Damn. <laughs> I know that random target, so that's okay. Uh, right. Heal you for what will be 13. Awesome. Pretty big heal. More stress coming in. Indeed destroyed. Said well. Right. Okay. So you want to be doing this. So there's our only self heal there with uh, with that. But we don't really want to be using that for building up her stress. Um, there you go. If we can get like a f three or four turns of this, I'll be happy. I'm probably stall with this bed for a little while actually. There you go. Get that down. Wait. Oh, bloody wrong move. And it flew away. <laughs> I forgot about that. No way to de-stress here. Ooh. So That's very, very, very useful. Very, very useful indeed. Holy hell. Um, Eight dodge minus... The, the minus stress from Shriekling's attacks is really good. Uh, yeah, we don't have anything to do with this. Let's just do it. Okay, it's traps, of course. Uh, so, unfortunately, we are leaving with more stress than I thought we would. I, th I thought we had the opportunity to stall a little more than we did there. A little bit of a shame. We're going to have to put some people in for stress heals. But it's not super urgent. Nice bit of gold there. And... Okay. Wasn't expecting it. But... Yeah. We got Mary and, uh, sorry, have her add up to level 4 for run up to level 5. Okay, that, that that actually was what I expected, okay. Um, also some good stuff there. Some good stuff indeed. I like that a lot. All my life I could feel an insistent gnawing in the back of my mind. Right. It was a yearning, a thirst for discovery that could be neither numbed nor sick. Let's have a little look, see what we got here. Harla... On kill torch minus five. That's kind of interesting. Um, hmm. Plus 20 armor piercing is pretty good. Nothing there really that we need the. Still got to look at these and make sure there isn't uh, one that we really want. Essentially, we're looking for ones that can be used on any character though. They're the, they're the ones that really matter. Um, ones that aren't class specific. There isn't a ton of those, to be honest. Still very tempted to get that. That's that's like straight up insanely positive. Um, that would that would create for an absolutely monstrous jester. <laughs> so I, I do I do want that. Um, but it comes around often enough. I'm not going to buy it yet. I want to wait until we've got more money because the bank's helping out. And actually, we have our first champion recruit. Uh, and this here is actually one we need, so I'm very happy about that. So let's just quickly unequip all of these and let's... Wait a minute. Let's quickly go and relieve these guys of their duties. Then sort by level. So, let's just take a little check-see, shall we? I think Aurora is still level 4, if I remember correctly. We'll be able to take on a new one here. Um, where is she? Yeah, so if we go over here and we name this one Aurora, um, make sure the skills are the same. So, I mean, it doesn't matter right now, but essentially it's that, isn't it? I think, oh, she's got that on as well, okay. So, like that. Uh, so, now that's Aurora there. So, we can relieve Aurora, this version at least. 
and bring on new Aurora at level 5. And then... I don't think... I think I beat Beastmaster. Yeah, 6th is already level 4. We don't need to worry about him. Um, we can leave him as is. And that's, that was pretty good. Getting at least one of them is nice. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with who we've brought on so far. Still no new classes. Um, don't think there's anything else we want to do in the shop here. Now that we're back in town, we can go through one of the bigger dire injuries. This one here is for Nevada, our butcher. The one that we just took out last episode and power leveled all the way up to level 6. He says, I finally came back to this town. It's different now. Much different. Their new faces, a different mood in the air, and improvements to the town itself. I went on an expedition as soon as I had the chance to, with a timid young lady known as Sunasis who planned to document our findings out there. I will not speak of the entire journey, I could spend all day writing about it. We slew dozens of monsters, and all while Sunasis was telling us more and more about the dangers we were facing, telling us stories around the campfire, looking over our notes and placing together, in, uh, placing together the massive patchwork of knowledge bound in this leather term. I'd like to say that the knowledge and experience I came back with from this was the most exciting part of it all, but no. I had my first real encounter with the comet's light. A thing. A mass of flesh from various creatures held together and animated by the crystalline power crossing, coursing through it. It was powerful and the light was shining through us, tearing through our souls, but we slew it. That man of stone blew it apart with a bolt of arcane magic just in time, and I felt the crab boy hybrid that had been keeping me safe from harm for most of the exhibition was about to break as well. Oh. Such a great diary entry. Loving his story. Um, but yeah, we'll jump into our next adventure here. Then we've got one more diary entry to finish off. So let's have a little look, see what we want to do here. Um, I haven't really thought up a team for this next for this next area. I haven't really got a team ready. Uh, there's, a, there's a few things I want to do. I really want to get to this. Um, doing the... Is it this one? No, it's this one. The Friar one. Um, but it is a level 5 adventure, and we still don't have enough level 5s, I don't think. And I really don't want to bring level 4s on a level 5 adventure. I think that could be quite dangerous. Uh, so maybe we'll just go for this medium this medium one in the curve. We'll try that out. Uh, let's give that a go. Um, let's see who we want to bring here. We really want someone that has the ability to cure blight or bleed. Mainly bleed. Uh, so let's have a look into that. Level 3 wise, we have a few people. Uh, we still have some story developing with David. Oracle is making his way and Victoria is going to get up there soon as well. Um, I think we'll bring Harathan here with the blight. He is uh, very, very strong here. Uh, blight does a lot to the enemies of the curve. So that's going to be nice. Um, we could maybe bring Octavia. Yeah, honestly, Octavia... How much maximum HP do you have? Only 26, so it could be dangerous. I'll bring Octavia anyways, though. Um, let's have a look. Hmm. We could bring William as well. He's still got the embrace. But he does have very, very, very low maximum HP here. Um, which is... Mm, problematic, to say the least. Yeah, that, that maximum HP does scare me a little bit. Who else can we bring? Um, I think we bring Alexander here. Uh, Alexander's been to the curve a few times before. He knows his way around there. Um, and he can indeed cure bleed. Um, and he buffs blight resist and disease resist as well. So I think that could be pretty nice. We mainly use his party heal anyways. And then he can actually lay on some blight too. Which will help Parathan um, quite a lot. And then, who else do we bring to round off this party? Who hasn't been out in a long time? Sixth hasn't actually been out in a while. Um, trying to look at who's who who's feeling left out. Zwayne's only been out once. I think Fragment's only been out once as well. Um, he does have that extra damage versus birds, but that doesn't really mean too much for us. Um... Could go with that maybe. Yeah, let's try this out, shall we? Let's let's bring Fragment along for the ride. He hasn't been out in a little while. Bit of an odd team. Um, some non-humans mixed with some humans. I I realise that that's a bit of a strange composition, but I do want to make sure that everyone gets their fair share of outings and make sure they uh they see everything they can possibly see. We don't have any particular monster out there with us, so we'll take. Actually, let's have a little, little look-see here. So, flail the corpses, stinging. So, 
Are these... Mila, Mila. Okay, so I think on you, we give you... We give you this. That's going to be really, really nice. Don't think you have any specific trinkets, do you? Um, we could go with extra restoration amount here. Uh, that could be nice for a little bit of extra healing, although I don't know if it's needed. I think maybe the thing to go for here is the scout chance in the curve. I think this Slater Hatchling that's being kept as a pet around is uh, quite nice to just bring along for the scout chance. Scout chance in the curve is, of course, pretty potent. Um, then here, do you know what? I'm just going to sell that. Um, let's reorganize. Reorganize these. Um... Right, what do we want on Harathan here? Harathan's got quite a few things that could help out quite a lot. Um, do you know what? I might just buff up his crit a good amount. Go with that and the, the blade here. Um, the blade's actually really nice. Um, I got TA pointed this out to me, actually. How Singing Blade with the plus 100 stress heal from crits... Making a crit build essentially means you manage your own stress. Like, the character just manages the stress on their own, which is really, really nice. Um, Doctor here, you can go with... The classic combo. Where is it? The classic, classic combo. That and that. Just for the extra healing. Then Octavia here. Octavia, what do we want to be going with? What do we want to be going with? Because she's certainly got some, some interesting stuff. To, plus 25, trap disarm in the curve as well is a nice reason to bring Octavia with us. Um... We probably want to give her some protection, but at the same time, we could give her extra scout chance. Hmm. Pretty difficult putting together what certain people use, really, isn't it? Can be a difficult task. Maybe we'll go with a fortified garlic just to make sure she doesn't take on any extra ailments that she doesn't need to. Um, and then see if we can possibly buff up her dodge. Oh, wait, we got the spellbound coin. I'm going to put that on Harathan, actually. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that. Take off the focus ring. Put on the coin. And... Yeah, take that. There you go. Okay, so we'll take that off you. Give give you that. And then give you this. Although that's minus 10 dodge. Hmm. That's not ideal. <laughs> that's certainly not ideal. How about we do this? We give you that. And then we give you that. Just for the... You've got a heal as well, so... I don't know, I think that's a decent composition here. Um, I'm tempted to just straight up go with, with like, prot instead and move resist instead of the fortified garlic. But I feel like having that resist is so, so important on um, someone with such low HP. Either way here, we've got a lot going on. We've got um, good damage and healing and everything. We've got self-heal here. Um, we've got um, self-heal and... Uh, team member heal then we've got party heal self heal then we've got heal anyone so we've got some we've got some really good stuff going on here so let's just make sure to check over our team again and and make sure that everyone is ready get all the way up there make sure everyone's ready you're ready actually you're all level four there so that's fine just need to check your skills as well fine 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 and fine Although you are using this right now, maybe we maybe we swap this off. Forcing guard isn't something we super need, is it? Yeah, okay, let's let's put that on instead. I don't know if we come across too many stealth things here, but it lowers accuracy, so I like the idea of putting that on. Let's go with that. Okay, I think this is a good team to go out with. Um, let's jump on in. Um, make sure we go to the right mission first. And we've got a medium here. This should give people a good amount of XP. Let's go ahead and gather our food. So I'm just going to take all the food we can. Uh, oh, before we do this, do we have prevent nighttime ambush? We do. Okay, that's fine. That's all I need to know. Um, we take four, five, six of them. That's fine. Four, 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 
And we'll take all of them. Okay, we're good to go. Let's jump on in. And we've got our last diary entry here. Uh, this one is for Sven at Oceanborn before going into the expedition. I was scared to do it, but I had to. I talked to the uh, that thing that was inside of me. I thought it was a demon, but I was wrong. It's something from the ocean. It saved me from drowning when I fell off that ship so long ago. It told me it was very weak, but was much stronger since it had been with me. And not to be afraid of it. I was. Oh, uh, sorry. I wasn't. I feel safe actually knowing that if I'm in danger, I can protect myself and others. I'm not helpless. Far from it. After the expedition, I can hardly believe my life has taken such a turn. We killed so many monsters. We destroyed them. Even the most horrible one. It shone like the sky and was made of corpses. But we killed it too. I've never felt so strong. I'm not scared of anything. We aren't. Oh my god. Lovely. Great Dar Angels here. Is almost unbearable. Let's go. I wonder what people think in the town of, of Scarecrow here, of Fragment, because of course he is made like or I know that we have a few people that come from the come from the um the comet, but he is like entirely made and born of the comet. He wasn't even alive before the comet happened. At least the others were. Uh, so I wonder what people think of him. So we've got to explore ninety percent of rooms here. So we've got quite a ways to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I took D-cell thing now because we do have a, some stress coming in here. Luckily, we dodged that. Spear there. Wow, got some got some high speed enemies right now. Apparently. Um, let's just do that. I probably should have done it on this guy. Really. Let's do that. Indeed, devastating blow. And that gave repost extra damage, which is kind of nice. We'll de stealth you. Very nice. Everything's blighted and ready to go. Nice dodge there. It's going to take on some stress here, but that's okay. Stress isn't a problem yet. We can deal with it. Right. I'm going to do this again. Honestly, that was pretty good. Really high blight on everyone there. Make sure you're finished. You're more than finished. You're the only one that's got real threat to us here. And you are going to be applying some bleed, but that's okay. Um, Let's just go for the heal here. Buff that bleed and blight. That's going to suck off some of that bleed. Oh no, that's the wrong that's the wrong attack. It's this one I'm thinking of boil blood. That's the one I meant to use. I still did a good amount of damage though. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Finish you off. Nice. Okay, I actually think this is a really good team here. We did get reorganized a little bit there, and it was a little inconvenient, but that's okay. And I am gonna take a risk here and Go for this. Um, none of those matter too much. That matters. I want to get rid of that. Let's just try doing this. He received hard noggin. Honestly, that's better. Marina's adventure is nice, but we're not in the ruins right now. So, don't really care for it. Right. So, like I said, we're just exploring 9% of rooms here. So, we'll just keep trucking on. I feel like Alexander, as the doctor here, and just in general, he's been a he's been a doctor, more traditional doctor at least in the uh, Hamlet. He, I don't know why, but he's something something about about him just seems to drive to the curve. I don't I don't know. The curve just seems like a really sort of familiar place to him. I'm not sure what that's about. Blight on everyone. That's what we want. We want to be able to set up blight on literally everything. You're not going down yet, but you're close. And then we just do like something like boil blood. We can do it on you and just kill you. I was going to do it on this front guy, but it wouldn't kill him, so there's not much point. Rather get someone off the field, especially someone like these fish with the spearmen that can do such high crits. Okay, we've got the barrier here. I don't know if we have anyone that can stun. I don't think we do, so we can't, we can't unfortunately get that off, but who gives a damn? Nice, even more blight coming in. Even more blight coming in. We can literally blight with every single attack. That's so good. And then it eats that blight. Okay, 
Essentially, the way that we want this to work is we want the Blight to tick over and then to hit with Harathan. So we get full Blight damage and then we suck the Blight off and deal major damage with the hit. Nice. Because we can use that for the, the extra damage to uh, blighted enemies without sucking it off of him. Their formation is broken. Awesome. Maintain. Right, make sure we're looting with Octavia as well. I don't think we've looted anything yet, but coming up, we need to make sure to loot with Octavia. We actually haven't seen any Curios, really, apart from that Bass relief. Which is surprising. Damn, really hoping to get a little bit more treasure out of this expedition with Octavia, but so far, not so good. Okay, this is the big bleed boy. This guy's we got to be very careful of him. Um, I think we start off with this. Set up a good a good blight and bleed. Then I actually think we're going to start with uh, the, the vapors, invigorating vapors, and just keep on buffing up that... Um, yeah, let's do that. And keep on buffing up our dodge. Try and dodge this guy's attacks. We are going to take a bit of repose damage here. Stress wave coming in. Alexander can take it though. As can Harathan. He's okay. That Caleb isn't really a problem. Because we've got... We're going to be dealing a lot of blight and bleed damage here. Nice dodge. There you go. That is why I wanted to get that dodge going. I think it's very important here. So I'm actually going to keep on buffing that up. Um, right. Hmm. Now, I think we go for another heal here and get everyone topped off. It's a little more important. We can deal at the major amounts of damage here, really, can't we? So I'm going to do this. Because it gets blight on both parties. And because there's such little blight on him, I'm going to do this. And that is exactly why. <laughs> that is exactly why. Hit for 31. Beautiful. Okay, now we've got to kill the Slater, unfortunately. We do have armor piercing on Alexander for the Slater, but we don't do a lot of initial damage, so that's not too too big of a deal, to be honest. We keep pumping this. We really want to be dodging the big attacks from the crab. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this again. Even a crit is great. You're going to be going down very quick to that Blight and Bleed. Um, let's just do this. Get that repost going. There's the dodge again. This is working out exactly as planned at the moment. You should be pretty much dead, right? Yes. Dodge is fine now. Let's set up the Blight ready for Harathan to take care of. A singular strike, one damage. I'm not actually going to rip off the Blight here. I'm just going to go for the attack and then rip off the Blight next turn. Or he dies for the Blight. Awesome. Hey, we got some good stuff here. Um, right, we can get rid of that because we don't need it. Don't need the blood either. Good, good. And all the way back we go. Okay, I am liking this team. This team is proving itself to be as good as I thought it would be. Having the ability to cure some bleed off if we need to in the des desperate situations where one of those crabs hits you. If it crits you, that, that can put five te five for, uh, no, 10 for 5 rounds of so 50 bleed on you, which is insane. Um, so you've got to be really careful around those big crabs. That's why I was upping our, our uh, dodge as much as possible. Unfortunately, two food checks right away there. Um, yep, yeah, makes Octavius selected constantly. Again, it's empty, though. Really not getting very good curio grabs here. Okay, we do have the uh, the Stingray here. This is actually a little bit of a difficult uh, fight, to be honest. Start off with that. Nice. We're probably going to go for a big Harathan hit here. And Golf, that's going to give them both guard, yeah. And he is getting 120% chance to Blight. Already huge damage on you there. I'm going to set that up again. Again, ready for next turn. And that as well, because that's going to blight them all. This AoE blight is just great. Yep, 
In fact, the Blight here, we, we definitely want this to hit before we use Harathan here because it's so much Blight. Ow. There we go, it did hit. Good. I'm going to go for some healing now. I think we definitely need it. Boil your blood. Didn't kill you and left you with one HP, which is annoying to say the least. Should get some good dodges here though. Um, yeah, let's do that again. Mm, unfortunately, he's dead, which means we aren't going to get much healing here. Alexander should have a turn left though. I'm hoping. Nah, unfortunately, he didn't. Wow, that's a that's that's a hearty reward. Um, Hmm, that's only stress relief. I don't really think we need that. Don't really think we need that. I'm gonna leave that alone. I am gonna crack this open though with Octavia. We've got four shovels. Okay, we got a little bit more damage here than I'd like. But I think if we just open up with some healing on the next fight, we should be fine. I think this is just... Do you know what? I'm going to do this anyways, because this is just uh, removing a quirk, I'm pretty sure. And we need to remove any with Octavia. She's got a lot of negative ones right now. Fatigued. Good, good. In fact, she is not doing good. <laughs> Octavia is in a bad spot right now. Let's hopefully get some healing before we take on too high a damage here. Too high a damage here. Okay, thank God. There you go. Mm, it's not, this is not good. This is not good. Um, I'm just going to do that. Oh, we can't even heal from this position. <gasps> oh, why'd you have to move me? You fucker. Impressive. This puts us in a very bad spot. The wounds of war. A very bad spot indeed. Nice. Oh, we'll leave him alone. Just, just don't touch him. Let's go for that for now. Hmm, I'm not a big fan of this situation currently. One big crit could could end two people here. Don't do it. Oh, thank God. I think we have to start buffing up the dodge, even though we need the healing. Oh, she didn't dodge it. Your only job was to dodge it. Gosh darn it. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Heal that up. Heal yourself up a little bit. Heal you up a little bit. Alexander being in the wrong position has screwed us so bad here. Oh my god, that's hurting. Stop moving, you shithead! Oh my god. <laughs> he just keeps moving around, it's so annoying. Pale man's plight. Interesting. Ah yes, a stun on our healer as well. How great. You've only got 4 HP left, so you're dead. Right. This is not great. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can what did you get then? Pale Man's Plight. Oh my god. Minus 50 disease resist. Minus 55 disease resist. We essentially, yeah, we have zero disease resist. <laughs> Even with the fortified garlic, we have zero. That's insane. Um... Bleed resist is pretty bad as well. Right, I think we're going to have to eat with you a little bit. Not too much, just because... Oh, I really shouldn't have done that, actually, thinking about it. We've got so far to go yet, and we haven't camped. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. Get rid of that, please. Oh, this went south quite quickly. It literally went south because bloody... It's empty again. Are you kidding me? Because um, that enemy decided to move our bloody surgeon forward. Not good. Not what we needed. 
Okay, this could give us some food back there. It did not. I thought they give food. Apparently they don't. We are nearing the point where we camp though, so we, we should be okay. But like two or three more food checks could could prove problematic here. And like you never know when they're gonna show up. They can show up back to back sometimes, so can be a little scary. Please don't be empty. That's it's kind of the same as empty, really. Honestly. At least stress has been managed nicely. Stress hasn't really been a problem here. Okay. There's another food check. We're only at 12 food. We're only at 12 food, and we have three more rooms to go. Oh, really? A battle spawned on the way back? Did it have to? Not an easy one either. Right. As long as you don't move anyone around, we should be absolutely fine here. Although Harathan just took an insane stress hit. Don't do that. Ah, oh, she got the curse as well. <laughs> of course she did. Of course she did. Although that's huge hits there. Damn. <laughs> that was not that was not what we wanted. I will say that for sure. Not what we wanted in the slightest. Nice dodge. Finish you. I probably should have finished you considering you can turn people, but Whoopsie. Yeah, you're, you're gonna you're gonna heal him up for that, you know. <laughs> you meanie. Oh my god, how much stress does that cause? Ahaha, ah, you cured her and she's on full health. All you did is debuff yourself. You mug. All you did then was debuff yourself. Lol. Hmm. Let's just kill you. I was debating it, but killing him first is way more important. Wow, huge damage there. Was not expecting that. Some more tapestry here. So too will resistance. I do like my tapestries, I have to say. Oh, I can't believe Octavia got the fucking curse. Of course she did. Of course she did. Although it did replace her other disease, which is quite nice. <laughs> Oh, really? Did we just... We just got rid of that, didn't we? Damn it. We... This has to be one of the most unlucky Curio runs I've had with Octavia before. Like, there is no Curios, and they're all crap. Do you know what? Let's quickly just go back through and check what this this one is here. I don't want to do this battle, because we don't need to. But I do want to check what the Curio is. Please don't be empty. What the hell? <laughs> That's four sacks in a row that have all been empty. This is going to be the lowest money, money run, that I've ever done. Still, we're, we're nearly finished though. I think it's just this one last room. We haven't even needed to camp, which is fine. We'll probably camp after if, if that's a thing. Finding the stuff is only the um, now it must be carried home. We can do that, right? Still haven't found a secret room either, which is a shame. Right, this is good. Getting surprise here means things should go our way to start with. So we start off with that. Blight on you because you're big and got prop. Then we do that for a lot of blight. Then we take off the stealth from you. Then we do that for even more blight. And everyone's got really high blight on them now. And you didn't even stress us out. Perfect. Don't stun me. Ha ha! Just saying it willed into existence. Such a terrible Although, a crit at 63 stress isn't what I wanted to see. Yeah, I mean, putting a barrier on someone that's literally about to die from blight. Uh, not quite, but <laughs> you know what I meant. A 
11? What? That's a huge heal. And of course, you, you re-go for it. But you miss again. You miss again. Stop moving forward, you shit. Um, I'm just going to blight the hell out of this thing. It's up to 13. Get it a little higher, shall we? 15. Do you know what? Get it a little higher, why don't I? 17. Get blighted, fool. Ow. They really want to kill him. Harathan, I don't know what's, what it is about them, but they do not like Harathan. A little higher. <laughs> it's not even necessary at this point, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to get it going. One health left and 18 bleed. 18 blight even. Right. So just grab this. Um, I doubt there's much more we can glean from this. Let's do this. Okay, what we got? <laughs> hmm. Thing is, the prevent nighttime ambush we have here is going to give us more stress than we'd have had otherwise, so not really that worthwhile. Oh, damn, we still have seven respite points left. Hot diggity. Oh, yeah, we don't really need them, <laughs> so... Please don't give us nighttime ambush. The darkness holds much worse than I risked it, and it was completely worthless. God damn it. You watch us take even more stress now than we started off with. Or die. That's <laughs> something crazy. I just wanted something simple. Although, the, the enemies we've got aren't particularly difficult. It just means that there's some disease stuff going on that could be kind of problematic. Uh, you're, you're dead. Oh, as if we missed. Damn. Damn. Brian, please don't disease us. Thank you. Really didn't want a disease there. Oh, we're coming out with more stress than we went in. Pointless. Die, you stupid snail. Oh, no. You couldn't have just got that hit. It would have been over. It would have been over. Don't crit. Thank you. At least we don't take any extra stress. Okay, do you know what? We got enough gold to make that worthwhile. I'm happy enough. We finish off the quest. Good, good, good. And we got ourselves some grog. Actually, a nice amount of money out of that. And fragments up to level 5. I wasn't expecting that. Hiccups. Right, Octavia needs curing. I don't want her to have the curse. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Right. Remove all our trinkets. Reorganize them. Octavia. Get rid of that. Arathan. Get rid of that. Let's see who else brings in. No other level 5s. We do have another Dark Wraith. And another Librarian. We finally have a Slayer. Kind of do want to take on a Slayer. Hmm. Let's take on a Slayer. Even though he's only level 2. Oh wait, that's level 1. Even though he's only level 2. We haven't had a Slayer yet. Let's take on a Slayer. 
I do have a backstory ready for him and have for a long time. We'll have to power level him uh, up again. Try that out. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy yet another great episode. Got quite a lot done. Um, yeah, I'll check our trinkets real quick before we end off, actually. Uh, nothing particularly good there. Either way, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.